what's going on guys um, welcome to my channel uh, Koraiwood and um, welcome to the next um, video on uh, learning bootstrap step by step all right so we begin um, um, start coding our uh, bootstrap in this video all right so you guys go ahead and uh, fire up your ZAM as I did here uh, to save time <clears throat> and as you guys look seeing here that uh, my ZAMP is running all right so we go there we remove this uh, HTTPS because uh, Firefox reckons that's that's a danger but it's not it's just a simple uh, okay this is from the last uh, video we had that the JavaScript is not not Java language if you guys want to see this message go and uh, check my previous video all right so we go ahead and start our bootstrap all right so we leave this uh, cool shop here for a while and we go here and uh, start uh, uh, our HTML HTML all right so as you guys see that um, sublime text is very clever once you type HTML it starts uh, doing the rest of the uh, HTML skeleton so with the bootstrap you guys go ahead and uh, HTML where the HTML is All right, so I'll go ahead here and I put a lang en for English alright so as we said that uh, the first thing we go ahead and uh, inside the head and we put our uh, meta uh, so if we put a meta where is this uh, the second meta I'm looking for this meta char set UTF-8 ah, that's very clever for uh, Firefox sorry for the sublime text alright so with the second meta because uh, we need the meta uh, not a char set to UTF-8 we need the uh, name meta name viewport viewport and the content the content is width uh, so what's the content of the I'm trying to type width width is equal to device width device width all right so initial scale one as we said that initial scale is equal to one as we said that the minimum you guys need is this one name viewport content width is equal to device width and initial scale uh, is equal to one and as you guys want if you want to put another one you guys can put a shrink to fit is equal to no shrink to fit is equal to no in the previous video we said that this user scalable is equal to no and we try this uh, at the now shrink to fit now no all right so we put our another meta name meta name all right so we put a meta name and we leave this description description and we leave the description empty content is equal to empty and we go ahead with our uh, another meta uh, and we put a name author author okay and the content we leave it empty and content we leave it empty so this is the minimum you guys need we we need the minimum for uh, to start our bootstrap all right so we put our uh, title in the title of our you guys can put any title so in my case I put a bootstrap salon boots bootstrap salon all right so I'll put a bootstrap salon and the next uh, step we all go ahead and uh, connect our bootstrap with the link as we learn in our uh, HTML and we put an asset and inside the asset 
we um, we rename our bootstrap five to bootstrap boot strip that's a bootstrap folder and inside that we need a bootstrap min uh, bootstrap grid we need this one bootstrap min css bootstrap uh, dot min dot css that's the minimum we need all right so you can put another link here with your css so we need a css folder as well because this is a css and we put name our uh, css style dot css that's what we're going to name our css that's a different folder because uh, we need to come here and uh, put our style here so we put a css because that's inside this css folder and our file name is style dot css all right so now we are ready to begin our uh, bootstrap and remember one thing with the bootstrap don't be shy using class because everything is class inside the css all right so we test our bootstrap it says button type button and we put a class so btn btn danger so we want to test our bootstrap whether our bootstrap working or not we see if that bootstrap so we put a btm button our button So it looks like the bootstrap is not working. So asset bootstrap asset bootstrap bootstrap min CSS. Button okay all right so the reason our uh, button is not working is because we forgot to put one more uh, folder here so we come here okay so this is our button our bootstraps working now all right so we try different uh, method of uh, button and we see how many buttons we've got all right so so now with uh, our bootstrap that our bootstrap is working so we go ahead and try different methods of uh, button because there are a few uh, type of buttons inside the bootstrap there are primary secondary success danger warning info light dark and we can link with the button all right so the first one is that we done our button button primary so we come here We put a primary button. This is a primary button, and we copy this because we are a bit lazy, and we put it here. BTN BTN primary, and we put a BTN secondary. Secondary, and we put a secondary button. and we put a secondary button here we see how the secondary work button works this is the secondary button so as you guys see that the, the, this is primary this is secondary button there are a few kinds of button 
and as you guys see there's the button and we put a type button and the class is btn btn primary so btn is it's a btn and btn secondary and we're gonna put the another one so that one is a btn uh, btn danger and the btn danger is going to be red danger button so the danger button we see that this is the danger button so this is the primary button this is a secondary button this is the danger button all right so we go ahead with another button as you guys see that the bootstrap give you wide option with the different button and we put a button success and the success button is going to be green uh, greenish so this is different button greenish button and we go and check all right so this is success button uh, we go ahead and try another button okay so we go ahead and try another button warning warning okay button warning i hope i think it's button warning warning button all right yes this is a button warning as i was thinking that was button button warning so you guys be you will be using this uh, primary danger and success button a lot so because you guys going different application and you guys you're going to use this uh, uh, buttons the reason is coming like wide because it's uh, uh, I'm typing but if you guys type say um, this success button just a success it adjusts itself to the whatever you guys type so as you guys see this adjusts itself so you don't need to be worried that our oh, white so wide and why the width is so big so you guys not need not to worry all right so we've done one two three one two three four five kinds of button and there are i think one or two left so there is button we've done a button primary button secondary danger success and warning and the last one we do is uh, info not the last one i think there are a few left so it's info button okay this is info button all right so the that thing few more uh, button light and we do light button okay this is a light button it's a faint faint very faint light and we do dark button okay we do button dark dark and it's dark button this is the dark button okay so we go ahead and we do the button primary button dark and the, the last one i think that's the button link the button link all right so that's a uh, button link link button that's it this is a link button so I think it should be very easy but as you guys see that the bootstrap uh, gives you wide um, very wide uh, options for the buttons so uh, you guys don't even need a CSS to do this uh, buttons all right so this is the types of button inside the bootstrap 
So as you guys see, this gives you a lot of uh, options to put your buttons. So it's a button primary, button secondary, button danger, success, uh, warning, info, light, dark, and link. So that's how many buttons we've got in um, Bootstrap. So this was just a test if our uh, Bootstrap working. And I think uh, f this is just a beginning. I I don't want you guys to get uh, uh, intimidated by this uh, bootstrap. This bootstrap is exactly like uh, HTML. Uh, as you guys can see, that lives inside the HTML. Um, and you guys not don't be intimidated and just um, concentrate on this uh, meta char set UTF-8, our character set, uh, car set or char set, whatever you guys prefer. Uh, meta name, viewport, content, make sure you guys put this uh, width is equal to device width initial scale is equal to one shrink to fit is equal to no this is not important but this this is very important you guys need to have to just the minimum you guys need to put and the description i think i type something here I, that one moves here and the author uh, as i said this is good for the search engine as well you guys can put a uh, any description my new salon in in the city in in xyz city whatever city so what happens with the google search yahoo search or baidu or um, any other search engine uh, yandex a russian search engine they come and look at this description because the robots the search bot come and look at this uh, uh, your website at the top and read this metas what sort of metas and uh, as soon as they see this uh, viewport and they uh, quickly classify your website as mobile friendly so we've done this we are just demonstrate one more thing as you guys see and when we go there and you guys see that when I shrink website as you guys can see these buttons start moving with the website with the with the page when I move ahead there is a, a room there is that's the beauty of the bootstrap so that's what bootstrap is famous because if you guys using mobile that's how you're gonna view this because it's it's a container and they see this it moves around the buttons moves around and when they see the device is a bigger device as you guys see is a keep expanding in one line you guys can put in different line if you put a br uh, break br stands for break because you are specifically telling html to break the line and you can you can put a 2 br or 3 br it's up to you you can, you can put a hr for line br and you guys can put a HR if you want to put a line it's up to you there you go that's your line I uh, I think you guys can manipulate this around and you guys see this uh, bootstrap that the beauty of bootstrap you guys can practice this a uh, few buttons and in the next video we start do, uh, doing a few more uh, bootstrap and we kickstart this uh, salon uh, uh, website and we see how we progress uh, with the different steps of this uh, uh, bootstrap all right i hope uh, uh, you guys like the video and uh, thanks for watching and if you guys any got any question or comment just leave it below uh, otherwise i'll see you guys in the next video bye